Angular dimensional constraints. We can place uh, constraints on angular dimensions on ob two different objects such as lines or polylines that have an angle in between them. And we're going to go up into our dimensional panel and right here in the bottom left of uh, the little ones here we have an angular uh, dimensional constraint. We pick that and then we're going to ask to select the first line. I'm going to pick this angle line. Then I'll ask to select the second line. I'll pick this second line. I can then drag this out and I'll place where the dimension line goes. I want to go outside is one of our general rules uh, and I'll hit enter and I get it to be 39 degrees. Likewise I can do it between two different points. I can come up and select the angular constraint and then notice on the command line I have the three point option. So I can hit enter or 3P either or. So I'll hit enter and it says specify the angle vertex. So I'm going to pick on the big circle and it says specify first angle constraint point and I'm going to pick on the center of that circle there and then I'm going to pick on the second angle uh, constraint point. So I'm going to pick on the center of the small circle there and I pick. I'm going to drag out and place where I want my dimension line to be. I pick and then I hit enter and I get my dimensional constraint here.